what is best in life? Well, we join episode 13 of the Zoroastrian Restoration, where I am attempting, beginning as a uh, sheikh with a single county, to restore the Zoroastrian faith to the uh, Sunni-occupied Persian Empire. I have my uh, first emir uh, died before he could become king of Delan. I now hold enough lands to become king of Delan and uh, will, will uh, form the kingdom as soon as I have enough money. However, I'm facing two crises right now. Uh, Wali Elg, my uh, son, but not my heir, has been come down by a fatigue and a persistent cough, and I don't have a court physician. And also, uh, Baghatur's host is occupying my home, uh, my home shakedom and uh, maybe raiding my vault if I don't eliminate him soon. So I had to waste a lot of money in hiring uh, a merchant band to counteract him as I didn't have enough levy troops to face him on my own. So I have that crisis and I have the crisis of uh, needing a physician for my son. So what I'm going to do is uh, implementing for the first time. Oh, actually, uh, last episode, we earned another achievement, snipped off to China. I sent uh, two eunuchs to the emperor of China to serve him, uh, thus enter, thus gaining the achievement, snipped off to China. And indirectly, uh, that uh, pretty directly relates to what I'm about to do now. That earned me 260 grace. So I'm going to ask for a boon and request a Chinese physician and it says the Tang Empire is famed for their learned citizens. You can request to have one of these scholars come to your court and serve as your personal physician. The character always has the physician trait. So I will request the physician lose my spend my 250 grace. The Protector General of the Exalted Emperor addresses a letter to the pious Emir of the Jaws Satrapy. May good health be with you. The heavenly Lai Chu, Emperor Daozong of the Tang Empire, has generously decided to send you a skilled physician from his court. Shai Zhu will serve you well. Send my most sincere gratitude to the Emperor. Now, hopefully, uh, he arrives instantly in time to treat my son. That's my hope. And yes, he has. He's already arrived, and his learning is 29. That's outstanding. And his diplomacy is 11, and oh, he's outstanding. I think he's going to be my court, court tutor as well. Uh, so I will try to have him treated. I'm Now I'm not sure how to respond to this uh, window, seeing as I have a court physician now. Um, sickness and death await us all. Stop pestering me. I must find... I must find a court physician now to find my son. Wally Elg. And it doesn't say treat... Uh, it doesn't say treat uh, disease or... Well, let's just see. All right. And as soon as I start... I'll have to deal with this uh, military crisis at the same time. So I will reduce the speed and form up these armies. Okay, that's formed. No, don't go anywhere, just stay here. Uh, form the army. Hefez. And there we go. Now I'll have the I'll have the mercenary army go in first to take the most damage. The reports of an erudite herbalist that resides in a hut in the outskirts of a nearby town. The herbalist named Azza seems eager to accept the offer of becoming your personal physician and has prepared an immense bundle of strange herbs to be delivered to the court should he be accepted. Uh, Yes, herbal remedies sound good. Bring her to court. No, I don't need her. I have changed my mind. I do not require her services. And I will send in this group, my own liege levies second, to deal with this. Now, hopefully, Wally Elk will still be getting... He's... The tooltip's not showing the option to treat his disease. 
During my stay at the court of a noble in Urbid, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a more favorable light and have him recognized as the benevolent and peaceful ruler he is. It seems as if I succeeded. I am actually the uh, chancellor of the Abbasid Empire, which sends me around to different places, and hopefully it's not going to get me killed or assassinated. But with a diplomacy score of four, I really need to increase it. And my business focus, I can click to choose no focus. Um, but I think I missed out on, oh, come on, mercenaries, get in there. There we go. I think I missed the uh, opportunity to set up a trade route and permanently get some buffs for the, uh, or at least lifetime buffs on the income of my uh, Demesne or the income of my whole satrapy. So I just want to chase away and then I'm not sure which focus I should switch to next. I seem to have no energy at all. Alas, I gain the treat, uh, trait fatigue. What does fatigue get me? Health, negative 0.25. In, uh, intrigue and diplomacy, negative 1. My stats aren't that good to begin with. Emer Nizim of the Nimazid Emirate hesitantly suggests that your symptoms may point to cancer. He insists that you follow his instructions. Why won't my own court physician treat me? My court physician has a learning of 29. Emernesium insists that you should abstain from food in order to feel better and prescribed a three-day fast. I'm not sure that did anything. Do I have cancer? I'm stressed and I'm fatigued. I'm rather hoping that I can last long enough to accomplish something with this character and with all these claims that he has. And on that note, a sudden shooting pain strikes my chest after a moment of agony. It passes for now. I've gained chest pains, health negative two. Emer Nazim of the Nazim Emirate hesitantly suggests that your symptoms may point to cancer. He insists you follow his instructions very well. Had write down the names of your worst enemies, and then when nobody was looking, toss the parchment into a fire. Better them than you, my lord. I'm glad I hired Nazim. My health goes up plus one after that. And I'm going to uh, show an interest in the assassins, as with my wife having this enormous amount of claims. I am hoping I can uh, pursue what is a bit of a weakness in my playing style of CK2, but I would like to assassinate my way to have my wife uh, inherit all these claims. Now, can I send her a gift to... Yes, for 15 gold, I can increase her uh, uh, opinion of me. I don't, Although I can't quite put my finger on what's wrong, you don't feel quite right. Alas, malaise... Am I going to die just as soon as I inherit this emirate? Malaise, negative 75. Chest pains, negative 2. Fatigue, negative 0.25. Stress, negative 1. Uh, I need something with a health focus. Uh, diplomacy plus 2, health plus 1. I'm going to try the hunting focus. That has a health plus 1 and a chance to get a hunting dog and a chance to improve my start. One kingdoms can be titled the Kingdom of Delan. I just can't afford the 182 gold quite yet. Now let's increase the speed here. And let me check my vassals. Okay, I have two vassals that uh, hate me. And her heir, what's her, her heir's opinion of me is all right. The symptoms which have troubled you lately were a sign of something much worse. I have cancer. Ah, oh, I'm not going to even get a chance to, to play this character. Your court physician, Imer, is Imer Nazim the Fat is not my court physician. He has come to offer me, treat me. I want my treatment by my Chinese physician. Uh, 
Can I not? Quark position. And I can't get him to... My life is in your hand. How skilled is this guy? He's skilled. He's half as skilled as the Chinese physician. For Pete's sake. Okay, so let's get this Chinese physician married off to someone. A good Zoroastrian. My half-sister. So I've married my half-sister to uh, uh, try to uh, get this uh, great stat of 29 learning, 11 diplomacy, 11, uh, 11 martial into my family. My life is in your hands. Emir Nizam made you drink a uh, draught of poppy before strapping you down on the operating table. You almost dozed off, fully prepared his instruments. But when he raised the scalpel towards your eye, you felt wide awake. I'm sorry, my lord, but we must remove the remove of the problem. And I gain the trait of one-eyed and severe, severely injured. Young Jahira has finished her education in the ways of intrigue. It is evident that she has excelled in her study. She's an intricate web weeder, uh, intricate web weaver. Uh, who is she in relation to me, though? This pleases me. And it's time to uh, release everybody to go home. And I am not even going to have a chance to take care of my titles. Actually, I'm going to pause it. Because I'm about to die, I'm going to try to incur some tyranny. So, uh... Infidel. The uh, Wally, I'm going to revoke his title. The Mosque. There we go. Wally Sheridar. So that gives me. And let's see here. Raise levies. No. Revoke vassal title. Demesne too big. Why does he not like me? Who thinks I'm an infidel? Opinion of Liege, revoke title vassals. Mayor of Caswin, demands too big. Mayor of Sultania. Uh, Mayor of Zenlin. I'm just trying to spot the. Infidel, okay. Haraz, yeah, all right, he's a Sunni too. So I'll revoke his title. And let's see here. Opinion of Liege. Infidel. The mayor of Tabriz. He too is a Sunni Muslim. So I'll revoke his title. City of Tabriz. And I'll hand these into Zoroastrians. Uh, Persian Zoroastrians. Infidel Wali of Ahar, he too is a Sunni Muslim. Uh, revoke title, I've already done that, sorry. And Amin, he is just upset at the size of my uh, Demesne. And I have an open council position for the Marshal. And the court position is actually, but the court position is going to become the tutor, the court tutor with the highest learning will be the court physician. Not that learning is necessarily the trait you want, but he has pretty good diplomatic and martial traits as well. Now the Iran spa blood. Ah, my uh, court physician is also the best trained martial person I have, but I don't want to lose him in a war. So I will appoint this gentleman and get him training, training troops in Gurgan. 
Uh, one title can be created, Kingdom of the Yes, but I can't yet. Do I want to send Tanaz into hiding? Do I want to falsely confess faith? Not yet. I don't have to. And I believe that's all of the Sunnis, or all of the non-Zoroastrians, uh, who are holding vassal, who are holding cities and temples, are now have their had their titles rejected or revoked. Opinion of liege, infidel. Uh, yes. Okay, so we'll let these titles be withdrawn and see if anybody rebels. Dangerous factions. A noble by the name of Dong Dan came to court today seeking his asylum. He claims to have escaped from China after the rest of his family was executed on orders of the emperor. O oh, great emir, your merciful nature is known across the land. I implore you to grant me refuge. It would be a, an untold kindness. His stats aren't that really good. Uh, was there some kind of reward on your head? You allow Dong Dan to stay and secretly send a letter letting the Emperor know. Dong Dan's opinion of Emir Moose Jaws changes by 20 for five years. There we go. I will send a letter and see if Dong survives much as... I humbly accept the decision to revoke the uh, Mosque of uh, Dirk. Uh, he accepts being taken away from the city of Tabriz. So is anyone else going to rebel? During my stay at the court of a noble in Urbid, I have done my utmost to present my liege in the most favorable light, but sinister forces around me seem to conspire to twist my every action into something dubious and every word spoken into an insult. It seems I have failed as chancellor. Now, and, uh... The Sune accepts being uh, revoked from the Walia of Ahar. So now I've almost doubled my Demesne size. I've got to give away those titles again. So, I'm going. And I'm dead. I have a new heir. If my character dies now, you will play as. Bahrad Jahardarzadi. And it's Emir Alandan. So Alandan, let me see. Well, at least all that tyranny is gone. Uh, so be it. Wow, was that a bad run of luck for... And, and I don't get to, and a chance to take advantage of all my uh, wives' titles as uh, daughter of the... Um, daughter of the caliph unless i could marry her could i marry my brother's ex-wife oh let's see go to family siblings emir moose jaws arrange marriage Yes, I could marry her and gain all of her titles. Princess Tanaz and Emir Alandon are getting married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. Yes, it is everybody's concern. 410. Now I can form the kingdom of... Uh, I want these de jure. And I can create the kingdom of Dalam. That will gain me 400 prestige and cost me 345 gold. I wonder why it costs you piety to form a kingdom. That doesn't quite make sense to me. But nevertheless, I will do it. Sultan Alandin of the Jaws Sultanate has created the title Sultanate of Delam. And I will call this Delam. There we go. It is the uh, now it is the Sultanate of Moose Jaws, and that gives me claims on Dihistan and this Sultanate up here. And let's see, a message about a point counselor has been received from has Sam Abed. Now, can I accept the ambition to become a counselor? Uh, become a paragon of virtue, acquire a title, become a counselor. 
Sedan, uh, Sultan Aladdin would like a seat on the modulus of his liege. Now I will accept a message about a point counselor. I would like to give you a seat on my council and therefore offer you the title of chancellor. I accept. I have filled my ambition of becoming a counselor and I am also now the chancellor. Hopefully I will last longer than the uh, last poor one. And, and I have regained all of these claims for my wife. Ah, uh, yes, and actually I have, I have way better statistics. Oh, look at this. I have 12 learning. I have 14 stewardship. So what focus do I choose first? My diplomacy is actually excellent. So as a chancellor, I won't be a failure at it. Uh, so should I try the first focus that I choose can give me a lifestyle trait and some buffs on a trait that I choose to uh, that it will correspond to I'm tempted to to take the business focus again and I will do that I will take the business focus and attempt uh, and uh, attempt to uh, increase the income of our sultanate and we're a monthly balance of plus 17. A message from a point commander has been received. He's appointing his commander. Uh, I accept, although I don't really intend to fight in any of his wars. Uh, I'll choose an ambition, become paragon of virtue, acquire a title, build a war chest, uh, build a war chest of 700 gold, groom an heir, building a war chest, um, Gets war taxes until July 20th, 8-11. Um, let's see here. And a national tax modifier of plus 10% for about five years, I guess it is. Five years. If I amass uh, county, 700 duchy. If ruling a kingdom, 700 gold. So I'll take that one, although it's tempting to go for the uh, a child one. Uh, build a war chest. There we go. Um, now, there are dangerous factions. It looks like, the, oh, it's just this one woman who hates me. My vassal. Um, I only have 100 gold at the moment. And, all right, I've got to do something about my uh, Demesne size and start handing out titles. Uh, my half-brother. Let's see all the titles that I have. Walia, City of Tabriz. So the uh, City of Tabriz. Line of succession, my half-brother. Um, my nephew, Wally. My Alandin, another nephew. I will have... Uh, I think I'll have better titles and cities to hand out to them. Uh, Walaya... I believe Walayas are baronies. Walaya of Galan. Let's check this. Walaya of Galan is, yes, that's a barony. Walaya of Mazalok. City of Lejan. So these are baronies. Are these temples? Walaya. The religion is Mazdeki, and so maybe that's why I'm not recognizing the temple title. Let me see what kind of buildings are in them. Oh, let's see here, City of Galan. Castle Fort, no, they're castle fortifications. Walayas are baronies. Yes, these are all castle town, castle fortifications. So, uh... All right, the city of Tabriz. Do I have anyone in my court with the high stewardship skill? Search realm. Uh, any religion. My religion. Any culture. My culture. Uh, gender. Uh, male, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. Uh... 
ruler adult yes where is the adult yes function adult yes and a land and sultan i actually have uh, the urbad and ruler i guess we'll include the ruler he's already a mayor mobad mayor here's a courier and he's just proud and he's a good Zoroastrian and he's 36 so we will grant him a landed title city of Tabriz and let's see how many of these other titles that we can hand out so perhaps uh, actually are there any people with high diplomacy scores that we would like to attract to the kingdom that would come uh, who are of our culture uh, he's possessed otherwise he would be a good choice although you know possession is nine tenths of the law whatever uh, the mayor of Tafriz, the Urbat of Demokan, mayor, mayor commander of Alamut oh is he sympathy for his lamb uh, kind his stats aren't really that great Uh, he has a high learning stat, which would be, might be of some use at some time. So I will grant him a landed title. Actually, these Walias, one, two, three, four, uh, seven, and I only have ten, so I only have to get rid of three of them. I believe I could get rid of these to my family. Family first when handing out the uh, goodies. Um, my half brother and heir to the jaws sultanate and I will uh, grant landed title while you have Lambasar and let me look at my family family tree I thought I had nephews and where am I where can I look at my nieces and nephews my house title Elg my nephew he's already a Wali of Mazaluth Alandin Behrad Wali of Lamsar my half-sister me uh, Parvin Here's my nephew. I'll grant him a landed title. Walia Galan. And she's married to uh, the Khan from up north on the other side of the Caspian Sea. I don't have any kids. My sister. So everybody's got one Walia it. And he's dead. My other nephew, Elg and my brother died of cancer almost instantly uh well it looks like i have one uh well i just have one more title to hand out so i'll hand it out to my uh, current heir grant landed title walia babuk there we go my demesne size is now the proper size again so hopefully that will help with the uh, court opinion dangerous factions so there's just this one woman um, who still hates me but she has uh, hated my whole dynasty uh, opinion of pre predecessor negative 63 that's the strongest uh, reason that she hates me anyway uh, that was a uh, quick reign of the uh, Sultan I'm not even sure if you ever made it the uh, Sultan moose jaws uh, and his quick passing of from cancer he had never had a chance to have much effect on life but nevertheless his brother married his wife so we can carry on with the same strategy of uh, trying to use perhaps assassination to inherit some titles and uh, that's it for this episode if you enjoyed it and it's your first time here please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notification of my other videos uh, thank you very much for your time and have a good day